Previously on Danganronpa V3. Who's the mastermind controlling you guys? No, no, you're, do you're doing it all wrong, Connie. You're supposed to wait till the last troll when we let you find all the little tidbits about the super mind fucky thing, and then we're like, oh, look, it was too cool all along. <laughs> then everybody playing the game groans and goes again. And now back to a new killing game. Hello! Sneaky Bee, back with some more Danganronpa V3. We last left off, we completed the first half of the trial. We got a uh, grasp of the basic mechanics once again, and uh, for the most part, it's still kind of the same stuff that we've uh, all seen up to this point, and with the addition of the new V point, which gives us some bonus points. Nothing too revelatory has uh, happened, at least for me yet. I mean, we're we're suspecting it's Shuichi, but like I said, I think I think now that he is. I think I guess the one thing would be that he, maybe he uh, realized ahead of time what Kaede's plan was, and maybe try to stop it i don't know maybe he realized it at, did he like walk in and see rentara's dead body and was like oh shit or, or or what exactly but it is clear that he has figured it out and he's just afraid i think to to say anything regardless i mean if it ended up being either kade or shuichi where whatever the result is it's gonna be fucking pain all right i want either of these those, these goober heads get me executed, all right? I love them too demon much. <laughs> but anyway, I had, to, I had to replay the uh, first half again because, uh, as we saw at the end, uh, yes, yeah, so that it does seem that that, uh, that glitch that caused the screen to black out when you save in the middle of the class trial and then reload it uh, is uh, apparently in the PS4 version as well. That's, that's so weird. I can't believe they haven't fixed that yet. I, I mean, I, I can't... I imagine they have, they've got no end to the number of people probably complaining about it. Come on, Spike tunes off, get your head out your ass. But it's all right, it wasn't that long anyway. But after this point, I, I think if there's any uh, more save points or whatever, uh, I'll probably just go through all the way to the end because the first half, not too long, not too bad, but having to go through the entire trial again, assuming that there's like another save point at the end would be a little much. But anyway, all right, let's continue where we left off. Monokuma and Cubs Theater. Oh, oh good, oh great, yeah, I, like, I really need your help with this. Papa Kuma's been doing this for two fucking games now, and a couple of spinoffs. You really think I need your help with this? But daddy- No, no buts! Get out of here! You're all a fucking disappointment! Wow, the trial is racing towards this thrilling conclusion. Do you know the culprit is, Nico? Do you? Oh, what's that? You guessed it at the very beginning of this before we even started investigating? Because you thought maybe this might have been a little too obvious? Well, you're, you're saying that now, Nico, but watch if he's totally fucking wrong! <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna- I'm really gonna eat my words if I- like, I- I've been so positive that it's gonna be kind of- but watch me be totally fucking wrong. By the end of this, I'm just like, WHAT THE FUCK?! Just stick my foot right into my mouth and then fucking choke on it. <laughs> Obviously, I know, because I know everything! Uh. <laughs> what? You know everything? Alright, yeah. oh, uh, that's me. I always get those two mixed up! <laughs> For God's sake, sneak out! Monosuke is the nerdy Moshirige one, and Monotaro is the red one! No, everything! <laughs> Daddy knows everything about anything! We specifically traded his bearhood for godhood! Um. Oh, hey, hey Monodom's talking! <laughs> yes, he has betrayed his Urusan ancestors. Huh? Traded? No, I'm obviously still a bear! It is obvious, right? Right, you guys? Right! <gasps> you sure ain't no fish! But you damn sure smell like one! Now What'd you say to me, you little shit? I told you before, you're my least favorite one! How dare you grow hair on your chest when I'm incapable of doing it! Anyway, since I know everything, I'll give you the whole story later! Try your hardest to have the culprit! And believe me, that's no lie! If I lied, it wouldn't shake the game to its very foundation! <laughs> so trust me, and please enjoy the class trial without any worries! Your soul is gonna be broken by the end of this! Yep. Wouldn't have it any other way. Oh wait, yes I would. No, don't do it! I feel like we're getting close to the gory part. It's making me nervous. Shut up, not mad me. I don't know who the culprit is, but I'm not paying attention, so it's okay. Yeah, but there's one thing we do know. The line between victim and attacker ain't as clear as you might think. I suppose that's one lesson we can take away from this case. You're on the threshold of your I cut off the leg before the poison spread. By spring, flowers will grow from the stump. The fuck has been up with Monikid? Ever since he had that honey, he's just been fucked up. <laughs> Seriously, anyone notice that? Like, the moment he, they did that, 
from there until now, it's just been him just spouting random shit. Like, oh my god, do you guys smell tacos? I fucking love tacos! <laughs> Shut up, Mata Dump! You're so fucking talkative all the time! Say something already. The tongue tied silence speaks volumes. I fucking knew you were the culprit! Shut up, me, you know nothing. Wait just a minute! None of that is possible! Shuichi was with me the whole time we were on lookout. When are you suggesting Shuichi killed Rantaro? Were you really together the whole time? Huh? What do you mean? I'm asking if you two were on lookout together the whole time. Well, I guess we weren't together the whole time. I'm gonna check out the basement. I'm gonna go murder Rentaro. Okay, I'll come with you. No, you stay and keep watch, Kaede. Stay out of my way! So that's when Shuichi went to kill Rantaro! No! Shuichi wouldn't kill anyone! Yeah, there's no way Kaede would I feel like she's gotta speak up, right? She would never let Shuichi take the to, the rap for this. Don't become emotional. We must seek the truth in a calm and logical manner. Or all our lives will be lost here. I mean, she's gotta be aware she did it, right? I mean... I'm not being emotional here. I'm saying it with conviction. Even Suichi did go to the basement. He couldn't have killed Rantaro because... The time took Suichi return and the security sensor going off. The murder weapon. Oh, the security sensor going off. I get it. Yeah. The security alarm didn't ring until after Shuichi returned to the classroom. It only rang after Rantaro moved the hidden door, which means he was still alive. But he had the receiver, he could have turned it off, right? If Shuichi was with me when the alarm went off, then that means he's not the culprit. By the way, I want to confirm one thing with you, Kaede. Who set the security system Ooh. on the bookcase? It was Shuichi, right? Ooh! Ew! Ew! What the fuck is that? Oh, that is really nightmare. Oh, congratulations, Kokichi. You are now the officially made the creepiest fucking expression. Out of all the weird expressions, yours takes the cake. Oh, seriously, look at that thing. Look at that weird ass smile of his. <laughs> I am death incarnate. <laughs> I'm going to murder your ass. Then I'll set up the camera that's connected to the security sensor. I'll set it carefully so the camera has a clear shot when the mastermind moves the bookcase. Let me take care of the security sensor top of the bookcase. Then we'll set the cameras near each door. Yeah. Shuichi was the one who set up the security sensor. What about it? Did you actually check for yourself if the sensor was set on the bookcase, Kaede? No, I didn't check. Did it ever occur to you that Shuichi could have lied about setting the sensor? Hmm? A, a lie? Shuichi pretended to place the sensor on the hidden bookcase door. But in actuality, he was holding it the whole time. And when he met up with you, he secretly triggered the sensor... ...to make the security alarm go off. Yeah. That would cause Kaede to assume that someone had moved the bookcase. I see, sneaky little fucker. Shuichi's like, no. Ah, Suichi, the innocent, sweet, innocent soul, though. He's, he still won't say anything against Kaede, will he? No, at this rate, everyone's going to think Shuichi's the culprit. Have to do something. I know for a fact that he's not the culprit. Yeah, okay. So, I gotta do something. But without actually admitting that I did anything, I guess. Uh, not such debate. From this point on, lines of white noise will appear to disrupt your reactions. Yep, here we go. That's how it always. This is how it always goes. They start off easy, then they gotta throw that white noise in there. Truth bullets will disappear if they touch these objects. So think of them as obstacles. Please time your truth bullets just so that they won't get interrupted by the white noise. Use the silencer with X to shoot down the white noise. Now, why would you do that? Because not only does that make it easier to shoot the right weak spots. 
You also get additional time. What a great deal. He's to your heart's content. Thank you for the opportunity. Now Shuichi's in the center now. Receiver on Shuichi, front entrance photos, rear entrance photos, hidden door the photos, lookout class. Armed, but the moving bookcase isn't what triggered it. As it turns out, Shuichi had it the whole time. But I mean, we can already see from the photos that he did set it, right? Otherwise, we wouldn't have gotten these pictures of uh, Rintaro moving it. So, the hidden door photos. The sound Kaede heard came from the sensor when Shuichi secretly moved it in order to trigger the alarm. So when Kaede heard the sensor go off, she figured someone had tried to move the bookcase. Only an idiot can make that mistake. Boom! No, that's wrong! Wrong, Kokichi! You stupid little fuck! Wait a minute. This is weird. If the security sensor wasn't placed, then... We wouldn't have been able to take that picture. Oh yeah, God, I'm such a knucklehead. We were only able to get it because the sensor was triggered by the hidden door. God, you guys are just fucking stupid. Oh, that? Easy to explain. Well, you see... Ah! Uh, I guess you're right. Sorry, I didn't think that far ahead. No, fuck you, alright? Fuck you and your creepy little weird face. You're giving up that easily? <laughs> ah! Yeah, I mean, whatevs. I made a mistake, big deal. Tenko, stop trying to beat me. I've already won the weird creepy face competition, alright? You, you lose, okay? You all lose to me! You speak as if you knew that from the start. Even I was taken in. So you see, Shuichi can't be the culprit. Now wait just a minute. Wait just a demon second. The security sensor had a power supply, so what if it went like this? The security sensor was set up on the bookshelf, and Shuichi had its receiver. However, Shuichi turned the receiver off. Right, that's... I thought they'd go there. How come? That would get you a picture, but no alarm when Rantaro moved the bookcase. Then, when Shuichi says he's gonna check the basement, he actually goes to the library. And thanks to the 30 second interval, he's got time to go in after Rantaro. He could have collected the sensor from the hidden bookcase after killing Rantaro. I see. Then he caused the receiver to go off in front of Kaede to trick her. It's certainly plausible, considering that Shuichi knew about the intervals. Uh, how needlessly complicated. But I guess it's not impossible. Then, Shuichi really is the culprit? No! Dirty lies! <laughs> so the ultimate detective is the killer! What a plot twist! How dare you doubt Ultimate Cinnabon! Wait! Why do you guys think he's the culprit? He's the sweetest one out of everybody! You all are assholes compared to him! Shuichi, please say something! Why aren't you saying anything? I don't want to rat you out because I love you so much, guy. Shuichi, what's wrong? You're not culprit, are you? Hey, you gonna say anything? We'll all vote for you if you don't. Are you okay with being the culprit? Are you ready to turn yourself in? Yeah. Which I do. Everyone suspects Shuichi. There's no way he's the culprit. But even so. Why won't Shuichi say anything? Is there a reason he won't say anything? Come on. Like, I, Kaede, I feel like you should know, right? She should immediately know why. It's not that hard to figure out. If that's the case, then it's all up to me. There you, there you go. Protect everyone. I need to take control of this debate. If that means I have to lie to do it. Did you, did you hear that? A lie. What? Now, I know that sounds fucking bananas. Telling a lie in a class trial. But sometimes telling a lie is necessary to reach the truth. No, but don't worry. There are no lies in this tutorial. 
Mirror it out. There will be times in a debate you have to lie. Oh, interesting. Okay. Before you had to refute, refute the lies, but now you'll have to lie yourself. Oh, interesting. I'm wondering though, is this something that I would do later on? Is 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 this only because Kaede is is also the bad guy here, right? Doesn't that get your heart pumping? Here's how it works. Let the truth bullet like a normal not stop debate. But when you hold triangle, the truth bullet will become a lie bullet with the opposite meaning. Losing triangle will shoot the lie bullet. When you use a lie bullet to argue or agree with someone's statement, it will become a perjury, a statement that paints over the truth with lies. While lying, your influence gauge will drain. A successful lie will restore it. Oh, okay. But if you miss with your lie bullet, you will take damage, so be careful. Also, I've heard a rumor that there's a secret way to advance debates. It's called a back route. So say that only those who lie well will be able to find it. Thank you much, Lee. Let's go over the case one more time. The security sensor was placed on the moving bookcase. Oh. Shuichi also had the receiver. How do I know what when I change it to a lie though? How do I know what it's gonna be? But he had it turned off. And so when Rantaro moved the bookcase, a picture was taken without the alarm sounding. Then taking advantage of the camera's interval timer. Shuichi hid in the library and murdered the shit out of Rantaro! Dead! And then he grabbed the security sensor from the bookcase and returned to the lookout spot. Afterward, he set off the receiver in front of Kaede on purpose to make her think the murder had just happened. Praise be to Atua! We've solved this case! So Shuichi was just using Kaede. Based for the suspicions that Suishi had the receiver for the security sensor. If I can argue against that, everything should be okay. Alright. Here's the thing. The only thing I'm wondering, though, is why wouldn't she just tell them? You know, like, the only thing I think of is that she's unaware that she killed him. But that just doesn't seem like it would make sense. Or that or she's just in, like, denial. But I, I can't imagine she would really let Rantara take the fall for this. Mana Cubs file. I, like, what does that mean, though? I don't really understand. Oh, immobile bookcase. Okay, uh, case, all right. Card, clean card reader. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? But, okay, Monokuma, Monokuma, that doesn't really change anything. So there's a, yeah, you guys have told me about this. So you get a back room, you're going to get like additional information or something like that. I mean, it's clear what it wants to do. It wants to say that the receiver wasn't on Shuichi's, but I'm wondering if I could say something else then for. Boom. Turn this lie into the truth. Right. <laughs> From a certain point of view. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. I forgot to tell you something important. Forgot? To tell you the truth, it was me. I had the receiver. Huh? So that's why there's no way Shuichi could have turned off the receiver. Oh. If that is true, then the entire premise of the argument thus far is wrong. Is this true, Kaede? Uh, of course! Come on, would I lie to you guys? I'm the protagonist! I'm not allowed to do that! That only screw yourself over. If we mess up, you're dead too, you know. Or perhaps you wanted to cover for Shuichi, even at the cost of your life. Except if that were really the case, so she would just admit that it was her! Huh? I cannot imagine why anyone would risk their life to lie on another's behalf. Words from a true heartless robot. Emotions are only for meat bags. That is a harmful stereotype. I can produce heartfelt remarks through calculations. Yes. Like less than three? Those kinds of calculations? Nah. It's not so unthinkable. All hearts are blind when faced with radiant love. Oh, yes. Doing anything for the one you love. Hasn't everyone felt that way before? Certainly have at least. Look how creepy you are. I'm sure that person didn't want your love. <laughs> Ouch. Get ready. Lady and Shuichi are pretty buddy buddy with each other, so I wouldn't doubt that. Plus, the way Kaede just acted right now, I'm pretty sure she lied. A talented liar like oh. me can spot other people's lies easily. Well, what do you guys think? To believe or not to believe, Kaede? 
Well, fucking give me your proof then, bitch. Um, I do want to believe Kaede, but Shuichi does seem pretty suspicious. He has been strangely quiet for a while now, which is classic degenerate male behavior. Shut up, Tenko. Yeah, I agree. I agree, even if it does take all the energy inside me. Shuichi is the only person here who's suspicious. So we all agree that Puichi did it? Then let's just vote already! No, I still think it is too soon to determine the culprit. Um, I agree. I sort of can't believe that Shuichi is the culprit. Yeah, this ain't right! I agree! But mm. I don't know if Atua agrees. Cause right now it's his nap time. Nah. This is quite troublesome. It seems our opinions are on opposite ends. How are we supposed to decide? We're split, right down middle. What do we do now? Hold on. Oh! Split? Did you just say split? I love banana splits! You did! I heard it! I heard it with my belly button microphone! Yes, that's right! This little Audi belly button actually had a purpose after all, aside from being adorable! So wait, your ears don't do anything? Uh. The Ultimate Academy is proud to present its very own more phenomenal trial grounds! More phenomenal trial grounds? The trial grounds are gonna morph? Seriously? I totally want to see that! Well, here we go then, Kokichi! Now summoning Megatron! Oh no, not this again! Either way, we have to do something. Can't vote for Shuichi because he's definitely not the culprit. We vote for him, all hope is lost, and we die. I'll be able to save everyone. But I haven't lost hope yet. I won't give up. I guess the point is she... Doing so will still just sort of... I mean, she'll sacrifice herself, but... It just seems like it's pretty clear we're not going to find who the mastermind is through this. Before I can save everyone, I need to make sure we're all on the same page. You're split down the middle. At times like this, debate scrums are perfect. Okay. In a debate scrum, you'll be split into two teams. Opposing subject, opposing subject keyword, time, influence, focus gauge. Okay, this is totally different, or totally new thing. Then you argue your opinions against each other. But look, everyone's so fired up, the subjects of your statements don't match. <laughs> That's not how you debate it all! You have to match your subject with your opponents and put them in the correct order. That's how you make a good debate. Oh, I didn't even realize I could scroll through the pictures here. Could I do that before? I probably could have, couldn't I? I, I didn't even fucking realize! I thought the game didn't make it terribly obvious! I mean, yes, I can see the little things down here now, little dots with the arrows. Your science subjects' keywords will be displayed, but your opponent's subjects won't be revealed yet, okay? This is closely for the subject of your opponent's argument. Where your opponent finishes their statement, find the same subject keyword with the D-pad. Press trial to argue the subject with the same keyword. If you and your opponent argue, arguments, opponent's arguments match, then your opponent's keyword will be revealed. When all statements match up, you will enter the finale. Try to convince all your opponents at once. Continuously tap the button displayed on the screen to push your opponent's claim out. Don't get pushed back. Push their claim out for a perfect refutation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I'm not really, honestly, totally understanding it, but I'm hoping I can sort of figure it out when I just have to try it out first. Split opinion. Oh, here we go, baby! I've been waiting for this! Somehow I just knew this would happen this game! Despite it not happening in the other games! Oh my god! No! Go, go, Monica, the Megatron! In the form of Organization 13 chairs! <laughs> Whoa. Switchy the culprit. Switchy isn't the culprit. Here we go! Debate scrum! You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Hirumi! Both of them were together when the receiver went off. If Shuichi... Oh. Okay. Or it could have been disguised. Kibo! Kaede is the one who actually had the receiver. But that's Kaede's lie, isn't it? I'll do it! Oh. We'll know whether or not it's a lie when we talk this through. 
You hid what you knew about the camera. I see. Okay. Shuichi. So I just have to match my word with essentially the word from what their own statement. It's not too bad. I don't think. I'm going to convince everyone that Shuichi's not you the culprit. You hid what you knew about the camera interval, Shuichi. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Fuck, I clicked the wrong one. The problem is you have to do it all at once, so if you fuck up one time, you're already kind of screwed, right? Shuichi. But Mew's silent about intervals, too. Yeah. Unlike Shuichi, I actually have an airtight alibi. Kaito. Kaede backed up Shuichi's alibi, didn't she? Shuichi and Kaede weren't together the whole time, were they? Hirumi! There, all right. Blah, 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 blah. All right, there. Crouch. Ah! Uh, uh, eat shit! Suichi has nothing to say! Ah! Uh, don't Everyone, even challenge me to a butt matching. Shuichi is not the culprit. If we vote for Shuichi, we'll be making the wrong choice. And the world did! Is that what you want? And if that happens, everyone will be executed. I definitely won't let that happen. Even if it costs me my life. Kaede. Yeah, it's just like Kaede said. Shuichi ain't the culprit. Gonta believe in Shuichi too. Gentlemen always believe in friends. Ghetto man! Well, if Shuichi's not our culprit, then who is? We've already exhausted all possible avenues of discussion. No way. There has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. Right, Shuichi? Huh? Shuichi, even though you're not the culprit, you've been quiet for a while. It seems like she's pushing Shuichi to... depend on her, I guess? I, I just don't understand, though, why she just wouldn't admit it! It's because you realize something, huh? You're scared to reveal the truth. <sighs> I thought so. Shuichi. Answer me this. What kind of truth did you realize? Don't be scared to say it. Not just for me, but for everyone else. Please, face the truth. The picture. Picture? The picture from the camera aimed at the hidden door, just before the murder. I always thought it was suspicious, the way Rantaro was acting. Oh, Alright, here we go. Now we're going to talk about the fucking Flash. Hmm? What's suspicious? If you look at the picture, it looks like Rantaro is trying to remove the camera. But that must mean he noticed the camera we set up. That's true. But when did he notice that? I believe it was when the camera took its first picture. This picture was taken when Rantaro moved the bookcase. At that moment, something made him notice the camera. So he tried to remove it. That's when the bookcase closed. The sensor was triggered and that's when this picture was taken. If that is the case, we must find the reason why he noticed the camera. You're confusing everyone! Except me, of course. Just get to the fucking point! It's really pretty obvious, honestly, if you just, like, take two seconds. I've been contemplating what it could be. Why did he notice the camera? And the answer is in this picture. I see, Suichi knows. The reason why Rantaro knows the camera was the camera flash! I get it. Because of the flash, right? The flash? Yes. The flash went off when the hidden door camera took a picture. Rantaro noticed the camera's flash. But how can you tell the flash went off? Because look at the fucking picture, Tanko! Jesus! Well, if you compare it to the other pictures that we have. Remember the pictures that were taken when I took down the cameras? This is the picture taken when I removed the front camera. 
this is the picture from when I removed the rear camera. And this is the picture of Rantaro. Whoa! The brightness is totally different! Whoa! Same room, circumstance, and camera. And yet, there is a disparity in brightness. Because only the camera aimed at the hidden door had the flash turned on. What was the purpose of leaving the flash on? Especially since it was meant to be hidden. A mistake, maybe? All according to Kade's evil plan. It's no mistake. There was an objective here. That camera was placed for another reason. Another reason, huh? I know this. Only one reason the camera's flash was used. Take a picture of the mastermind to light up the room to lure the mastermind closer to blind the mastermind to lure the mastermind closer. I get it. The flash was used to lure whoever moved the bookcase to the camera. So when the flash went off, they would have noticed the camera right away. And that's exactly what happened. Rantaro moved the bookcase, noticed the flash, and then walked over to the camera. But the culprit didn't expect the camera to take another picture when the door closed. Hey, Kaede? What is it? Is something wrong? You've been acting kind of strange. Strange? Your last few remarks carry more conviction than before. Do you know who the culprit is? Yep, I know. I've known for a long time. Hmm? Long time? Because there was only one person able to set the flash on the camera. Okay, <laughs> I, I'm a little like, just a little baffled by the way this is set up, honestly. I guess it seems unnecessary. I, like, I see what they're doing from a gameplay perspective, right? But it just seems like she could have said this a long fucking time ago. And I, I she's, st and she's still being super vague about it. Like she just wants Shuichi to figure it out. It, but it just doesn't seem very realistic, you know? Like, I, I feel like realistically she would just say, guys, it was me. This is exactly what I did. <laughs> I've known for a long time now. She, just like Nico. <laughs> Isn't that right, Shuichi? Maybe the point is to give Suichi that conviction, I guess? I guess? I, I don't know. I, I hope they sort of elaborate a bit more the on it. The culprit of this incident is... It's fucking Rantaro! <laughs> fucking me, baby! Dead! No doubt about it. Ah, fuck! Why, Kade? I knew it! I fucking knew it. Ugh, call that fucking three years ago. Well, this is as far as it goes. I couldn't do it. I couldn't get to the mastermind. Aw. Still sorry, sad, though. Everyone. I'm sorry, Rantaro. I'm sorry, Shuichi. You stayed silent this whole time because you realized it already, right? Yeah. But you can't do that. It may be the end of me, but I want my wish to. I'm giving it to you, Shuichi. From now on, you're going to carry on my wish. You're going to protect everyone. Oh. 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 Kaede, I know what you want me to do. Oh, now it's going to switch perspectives, isn't it? Oh, no! No! That's so cool. Oh, it's it is. Cool, but I understand. I'll do it. I guess that is the point. She wants him to, I guess, carry the group to be the one to lead them to victory. And I guess it would just be too easy for her to confess. I, I guess... I don't know, it's still a little flimsy for me. I, I feel like, especially if it looked like he was gonna take the fall there. I guess, like, that's why she lied to do it. It just, I don't know. It, it, for me, personally, it's like, if that were to happen, just fucking 
you know, admit it, you know? Because what if Shinichi hadn't figured it out? Then would she have said something? Actually, I'm wondering, what do you got a game over with Kade then? Would they have all picked her and should they be like, you're right! <laughs> well, what do you know? Because that was how the game overs used to always be, right? Whenever you... If you got a game over, they'd always vote for, for you. Interesting. So they are. They're going to switch perspectives. What the fuck? Are you kidding me? That is pretty mindfucky, though. The fact that they would just, like... So essentially, the protagonist... Who we thought was the protagonist of this game the whole time, in fact, really wasn't. You can trust me. At least, that's what I'm getting from this. I won't let your wish go ungranted. Oh. Oh, but I love them so much. I wanted them to stay together and make babies. Kaede is the culprit. Huh? Kaede did it? Wait, that's not possible. Right, Kaede? Actually, I'm kind of curious now. If I. Oh! <gasps> oh, look! The color of my of my monopad has changed from pink to blue. Oh hey, what's this? Dress up. Oh, yep, to to a new default. Default blue. Oh. Now if I look at the report card. Yup. It's interesting. Originally the report card, the first person was her, you know, and then it had the rest of the girls. Now the first person is him, and, and now it's just got the guys, and the girls go after that. It's actually kind of, but look at that, all my, wait, wait, what do I, actually now I think about, whatever all my fro old fragments I got with, uh, Suichi, where do they all go? Are you telling me I wasted my time this whole, this whole time? Where are they? That's, that's actually, yeah, I, I don't know, I don't really understand how the, that's gonna work now. Okay, are those just gone? <laughs> my mother! I have so many feelings right now. Like, I, I really actually, I do really like Suichi though. I mean, so I'm glad he's not dying, but I really love Kaede too. I don't want either of them to go. I liked her as protagonist as well, so. Say la vie, it cannot be. Kaede? You're the main character though! No, I'm not. I lied to you all! Wait, did she really? I laid waste to that motherfucker. That avocado got turned to guacamole, baby. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Huh? Huh? Did you guys really think I'm the culprit? Shh, come on, guys. Like I could. <laughs> come on. When Rantaro was murdered, I was in the classroom with Shuichi, remember? After that, we went to the library, and that's the first time I even saw his body. Plus, I never met up with Rantaro. I never had a chance to kill him. Yes, no way Kaede could be culprit. Jeez, of course not. Do you think I'm even strong enough to throw that shot? My hands are only strong enough to play piano. Then accusing you of being the culprit is... <laughs> yep, it's wrong. Shuichi's just joking around. He wanted to lighten up the mood. Right, Shuichi? No matter how you look at it, I couldn't have killed Rantaro with that shot. I understand, Kaede. You want me to reveal the truth, don't you? Yep. I knew that's what she was talking about there. I think everyone is afraid of learning the truth. But the people who are willing to learn, who find the truth, are the ones who can decide their fate. If you never know the lies from the truth, then you can't choose a path. You won't even know you're on a path. So fight for the truth, even if it is frightening. I know you can do this. If you're scared, borrow the strength of others who will be there to help you. Think of everyone you're helping, and let that be your strength. Oh. No, I'm not joking around. Kaede definitely killed Rantaro. What the hell did you just say? It seems as though Shuichi is serious after all. That's right. I'm the protagonist now, bitch! Of course I am. Eh? Why don't you tell me then? How did I kill Rantaro with that shot? Yeah, how? You and Kaede were together the whole time, weren't you? How Kaede killed Rantaro with the shot put ball should become clear when you consider where she used it. 
Where she used the shot put ball? Huh? What? I lost you guys. I think she did. I think she knocked it through the vent. Kaori wants to reveal the truth. She trusts me with her wish. So, I can't back down. I need to fill her wish. I need to fight for the truth. Ah, oh, god damn it! I knew this was gonna end in pain and tears. <laughs> Look at classroom play football. When Trust Rantaro longing. was killed, I was in the classroom, standing watch with Shuichi. Hey, they never. Okay, staying watch. What, what does this say? Kai and Shuichi were on, lo on lookout in the classroom stairs. So Shuichi left to briefly to go check the basement. The two were together the entire time until the receiver went off. Saw Rantaro. And how she kill him? It's important to establish where the culprit used the shot. So by we know that it was in the library. Okay, I was just kidding. She killed in the library. <laughs> I was just kind of curious. I was like, can I still do the live thing? I can't actually still do the live thing. What was it? Normal classroom? Is that what that said? I do. I'm not really sure. I like that when you hold it down to see what the lie is that you're telling, that you uh, you actually lose. Uh, influence or whatever because sometimes I, I i like i wanted to see what the the opposite of that so-called statement supposed to even be in which case it's impossible for me to be the culprit okay now here we go right here boom that's wrong no that's wrong my turn take this kaede didn't use the shot put ball at the scene of the crime she used it at the first floor classroom where we were keeping watch. Yeah. Hold on. How could she have hit Rantara with a shot from a different floor? She rolled it. <laughs> she rolled the shot from the first floor classroom and hit Rantaro. In the head. I am skeptical that she could perform such a feat of accuracy. So it was a magic shot put ball? Yeah. That's not possible. <laughs> no! That's impossible! Such magic is beyond our comprehension! It is possible. If you do it at the right spot in the classroom, it will reach the library. So it seems you already knew about that. I didn't want to figure it out. I didn't want to know. But I can't turn away from the truth. The place you rolled the shop up ball to move from the classroom to the library. I know this! Oh, seriously? <laughs> it's pretty obvious, but okay. Need to introduce the keyword, you will be thrown into Hangman's Gambit version 3.0! Yay! The objective is to select the letter orbs in the right order to create the keyword. X to activate the flash spot to read the illuminated le letter orbs. Oh, okay. That's a little different. While the letters are illuminated, you will be able to actually select a letter orb. So make sure you uh, remember where they are and press trial to get the letter orb. Remember, you have to select them in the correct order. Use the keywords from the letters and you can see the flash spot. The flash spot uses focus energy, so use it wisely. Waves of light will also occasionally cross the screen so you can read the letter orbs then. Okay. Version 3.0, here we go. There's V. Oh, look at that, whoa. Oh, Hidden Monokuma, there's one. Okay, I, I'd i heard about this. You guys told me, apparently. There are actually, just like before, there are five Hidden Monokumas in every chapter, and I'd actually already gotten four of them. So it seems that you get four from just walking around the, the school during the chapter, like, and just looking around. But the fifth one is always hidden in one of the mini games of the class trial. I see, okay, and there, and there it was! Okay, well, that's good, that's good to know. So at least I'll know now if I find Four, four uh, Monokuma dolls in the chapter. I'll know I'll have as many as I can until the class trial. And just keep an eye out during uh, one of the mini games. Okay, E. N. T. Gotcha. Got it. Gotcha. The classroom's bent. If you were to roll the shot in there, it would reach the library. I see. 
that air duct connects the classroom to the library. So, the shot is rolled into the vent, passes through the duct, and comes out of the air vent above the library bookcase. But how could she have hit Rantaro from all the way over there? The vent was way too far from Rantaro's body. So it was just a coincidence? I will say that was one hell of a fucking shot there, <laughs> Kaine. So yeah, she, she used the broom to push the putt ball there. What kind of coincidence is that? Hmm, what a mystery. No, I already know the answer to that as well. It's no coincidence. The culprit set it up that way intentionally. If I remember correctly, there was something off about her that then. Damn it. How could I not realize it? It's too late to regret the past. I know I should have made out with her when I had the chance! I said I couldn't make one back down. I made a promise. Through our thoughts! Not stop debate. Time! Here we go. The bookcase is stack books. That's what it is. The shot that fell from the vent. How did it strike Rantaro's head from that distance? How? Yeah, that's impossible! Impossible! It's not like it started rolling on its own. Did start rolling on its own. Yep. I agree. <laughs> hey. It's just like we almost said. The shot rolled along the top of the bookcase and fell on Rantaro's head. It rolled along the bookcase? I did say that. But would the shot have rolled that conveniently? It has nothing to do with convenience. The shot rolled exactly how the culprit wanted. They used books on top of the bookcases to direct the path of the shot. The shot's path was directed by books? How would that even work? Ah, it would be easier to explain with the floor plan of the library. That's right. Someone did have a floor plan. In fact, that might be the be concrete proof of my theory. Me, right? That's it. Me, you! I need your tits. What? Me, I recall that during the investigation, you said you would use your drone to make a floor plan. It's called a drone. I mean, a prone. No, it's not, you idiot. Oh yeah. What happened with that? Already developed the photos and drafted some sketches. And let's look at it. Maybe we all find clue. Please, Mia. Oh, want him that badly, huh? Fine. But now you owe me one. First, you gotta get on your knees and suck my dick. Voila! Feast your eyes on these babies. Oh, look at that beautiful. Oh. I see. Okay, she really did create a a little narrow path. Okay, I, I wasn't sure when she opened that one book if that really had anything to do with... Oh, wait. Oh, no. Maybe it did. Oh, it did. It did. I, I see it at the end there. That was what made sure that when it got to the end, that it, it was like in that perfect spot right above uh, where his head would be. But yes, I, th so she made that little trail of books. Even like, I didn't actually think that she made it where there was actually a, like almost like a little slide with walls around it though and there were like a little just a path down the middle because it, it did seem like it would have been easy for the ball to just roll sideways off the side of the books as opposed to just going down them but yeah so there's a little divot in between and then when it got to the end it actually did land in on the open book it's just as i thought hmm? what is look you idiots see the books are stacked like stairs from the vent to where Rantaro's body was found. Oh, Shuichi is right. Indeed, they are stacked like stairs. I did not notice when I looked up from the floor. I see, I see. The shot rolled on top of these books, eh? Yes, I'm sure of it. I want to clean up the that dead body. Rolled into the classroom vent and came out in the library. Whoop! 
But up, but up, but up. If the vent was open, the shot would have maintained momentum. And you did that, right, Kaede? You made sure the vent was open. Right. I pushed the grate into the duct. Then I lifted my body and looked inside. So how's it look? Could a person fit in there? Hmm, it'd be pretty difficult, but you might be able to crawl through. Impressive. You have a really good memory, Shuichi. Oh. Oh, they love each other so demon much. When the shot came through, the stacked books made it change direction. It then rolled down the path made by the books. The books were stacked in rows so that the shot wouldn't fall off. At the same time, the books blocked the shot from view. Yeah. Then, when the ball was directly above Rantaro, it changed direction, rolled along the groove of the open books, and fell on top of his head. Still a pretty damn lucky shot. And it was the camera flash that lured him to that exact spot. The timing had to really be perfect. The setup that complicated is almost like a Rube Goldberg machine. Just like I said, I love those things. So if it did Kaede fuck me in the end. This mechanism? Well, it would be. Wait, even with the Rube whatever setup, when did she roll the ball into the duct? That's right. Wasn't Shuichi with Kaede in the classroom? When Akade rolled the putt shot football, it had to have been at just the right time to kill Rintaro. When she entered the classroom, when Shuichi went to the basement, when she was leaving the classroom, when, they went to, when he went to the basement. The air duct isn't that long. Had it been when Rintaro was close? Spend most of the time with Kade. Perhaps only you know the answer. Uh, oh, okay. I guess not. So, yeah, I guess it was when That's it. they were leaving the classroom. Okay. I thought it was with... The moment we ran out of the classroom. She was sweeping the floor. I thought she'd like, when she was doing that, she'd snocked it in there. Okay. When the sensor went off, I ran out first, and then Kaede followed. But just before she left. Switchy, the receiver! Saw him with the bookcase. Hurry, Kaede! Switchy sprinted out of the room with the determination of the true ultimate detective. Wait for me! I dropped everything I was holding and ran after Shuichi. I'm right, aren't I, Kaede? Of course, the ultimate detective would remember all that. Your words and that smile. Is this your admission of guilt? Hold on, don't just jump to conclusions. I've still got a lot of questions. I love Kaede too. <laughs> That's weird. Why do you sound so desperate? There's nothing weird about it. There's just no way I could believe someone like Kaede would be the culprit. Oh, he did. He liked her too. Yeah, going to not believe it either. Going to love Kaede. All boys love Kaede. I don't fucking skate. What? Uh. Don't worry, Kaede. I'll clear your name. Oh. Moving bookcase, stack books from Charles Belong, Blay Shop Ball, promotional I video. To believe that Kaede is the culprit. It's probably this because we haven't still used have it yet. Doubts. And or the bloody shop ball. Doubts. doubts about the noise, of course. My oh. should have been quiet, right? No. There we go. Boom! That's wrong! No, we had that big loud annoying song, so we would have we would have heard he's saying we would have heard the ball going down the vent. The murder occurred while the Killing Game promotional video was being broadcast. So the library would not have been completely quiet at the time. Oh. So that ghastly video drowned out the sound of the shot rolling. What? Kaito, are you done now? D damn it. So it's true then? You're saying Kaede really is the culprit? 
So that means most of Kaede's sins were committed right before Shuichi's eyes. That's correct. I was with her in the classroom. And when she moved the vent grate aside. And when she lined up the books on top of the bookcase. Yeah, you really weren't subtle as subtle as you thought you were, Kaede. Hmm, there are way more books here than I expected. Top of the bookcase is covered end to end with cluttered stack of books. This is nothing. So move the ladder, I rearrange the books bit by bit. Jeez, there are too many books. Might be too hard to set up a camera here. Hmm, I thought so. Wait, just gotta try a little harder. Kade, I know you don't like to admit defeat, but really, it's all right. Keep moving the ladder as I kept reorganizing the books. And it was the same when you took the murder weapon, wasn't it? You took the shot put ball when you got the cameras for Mew, right, Kaede? Yep. Kaede, something wrong? When you go, go, Mew, before Mew changes her mind. So she was already waiting, uh, already at the door of the warehouse waiting for me. Oh, sorry. I shoved the things I was holding in my backpack and ran after him. So you were hiding it the entire time? Where would she have even hidden it? In her backpack. Where to kind of keep it? Could only be one place. Right up her skirt! <laughs> That's it! <laughs> Shuichi, what the hell do you think I, I got under backpack. here? Backpack. She was carrying the shot put ball in there. Despite its weight, it would have been easy to carry in a backpack. I noticed you also had a spare vest, which you could have wrapped it in. That would prevent the cameras you were carrying from being damaged. And that means yeah. all of this happened right in front of Shuichi. But we should not blame him for that. None of those actions warranted suspicion at the time, so we might not have noticed. That clears it all up then. Every part of the crime Kaede plotted. That can't be. It's gotta be mistake, right? But if all of that is true, then that's pretty unfortunate. Oh well, I'm over it. I mean, it's Kaede, you know? She kept preaching about working together, and then she goes and kills in cold blood! No, something still doesn't fit. Hmm, what doesn't fit? Kaede wouldn't do something like that. Huh? You mean she's not the type? But you were the one that said she did it, right? Yes, I did say that. But murder and cold blood is just not in her character. She's just too adorable. I truly believe that. I believe in her. But why? Why do you still believe in me, Shuichi? Why? Tell me why! Why are you doing this? Are you still looking away from the truth? Not at all. My belief in you uh -oh. is going to lead me to the truth. I'll show you what's behind all this. I'll show you your truth. I know, it's getting crazy, right? But it's time for another tutorial. Sorry to break up the fucking feels. Your opponent is on the ropes, but they're in argument armament mode and won't listen to you. You have to remove their armaments to refute what they're saying. That's how argument armament works. The objective is to destroy all your foe's armaments and strike the finishing blow. <laughs> what, what, what the hell? <laughs> what is going on in that picture? Durability. Time. Rhythm. Oh god, another one of these rhythm things. I was very good at these in the last one. Attention gauge. Influence. Focus. Gotta press everything in time with the rhythm and then we got fever time. Alright, so yeah, this is gonna be just like before then. You match the rhythm to shoot down your opponent's statements to damage the armament. The markers on top of your opponent's stat statements are called rhythm sites. Right when the gauge makes one revolution, pressing the correct button, press the correct button to shoot the statement. When the damage, when damaged enough, the armament will break and the music will change, increasing in tempo. Right? Yep. Pimple pills and pickups to match the timing. Can't get on rhythm? Press R1. Activate fever time. During fever time, be invincible. You can press any button, whatever you want. You can only activate it when your focus energy is full, so watch it carefully. When your opponent's arguments destroyed, you can give your final argument. Your argument will be displayed with. 
the four, the four words assigned to X triangle of square circle. I think anyone who watched the dog or open two last play knows why I'm laughing. On the meat bone. Uh, no, the memories. It's coming back. Oh, God. Oh, that happened in the first trial. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to go watch my John Grumpa 2 Let's Play. But let's just say I, I fucked up rather extravagantly uh, at that very moment in the first trial of the game. <laughs> a lot, too. It was just like a couple of times. And I get really pissed. And I was like, what the fuck? I still think it was a little vague, but because I didn't feel like there were other ways you could have said it. But that said, <laughs> after all, I just started making like bone on meat. <laughs> the press the buttons in the correct order to land the finishing blow. Using split second logic to refute your opponent's final argument. As always, it was a pleasure. Here we go, guys. You still believe in me? I'm definitely the culprit. Duh, duh. You think I wouldn't do it? Oh, it's a little different from before. It's all my fault. Not quite as many button presses. You still believe in me? Ah! I'm the one who killed Rantaro. That's the truth of this case. And that's uh, all whoops. there is to it. I'm a terrible murderer. I betrayed everyone. I'm the one Wait, what? who killed oh. Rantaro. That's the truth of this case. Ah! Boom. Okay, we're gonna go fast. Please stop. Just stop. Remember what I told you? Uh, oh. You have to fight for the truth. Boom. Shuichi, I know you can do this. If you say you believe in me, then... Don't look away from the truth. I'm not looking. Then... Ah! Boom. Oh, broke the mask. Here we go. Do you know what I was trying to do? Uh... Kill the mastermind. Boom! Yes. No more on the meat bone. I ripped your clothes off, Kade. Okay, I actually liked that one better than the last games. You weren't persuaded by Monokuma. And you weren't trying to save yourself. The last game, it was like you had to do so many buttons. Just like, da na 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 in a row. It was like endless. But this one sort of gave you some breathing time. And I, I liked that a lot better. What you were trying to do. Was kill the mastermind. Kill the mastermind? Man, I fucking called this case though. Jeez. Like, you know, I I like how they they turn everything on his head. The fact that we are like the 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 person we were controlling ended up being the bad guy. Like, I thought I think that's a pretty cool idea. It definitely goes against you know the usual trend of the protagonist is essentially invincible. But I wish they had made it less obvious like it just it just seems so obvious to me right from the get-go the fact that i i was able to figure most of it out right before even investigating just like <laughs> it's like come on seriously kaede wasn't targeting rantaro she was targeting the mastermind and i don't think that's plot guessing bullshit power i i think it was just that obvious you know i i'm sure a lot of people other people felt the same way she was trying to end this killing game she was trying to save us all. Yeah. Isn't that right, Kaede? Poor Kaede. I see. Otherwise, everyone would have died when the time limit expired. So, she tried to end the killing game by killing the mastermind? But it's all my fault. Kaede trusted my detective skills. I told her the mastermind might be there. And that's why she set that trap. It's all my fault. Oh. She trusted my detective work and I screwed it up. Stop. It's not true. Oh, it's okay, Shuichi. Please, don't say it's your fault. It'll be harder for me. Oh. None of this is your fault. It's mine. Everything's my fault. Kaede. Oh. Shuichi, can I ask you to do one last favor for me? Can you end all of this? What? I want you to reveal everything that happened and convince everyone. And then, I want you to end this. That's 
My final wish. I understand. I'll end all of this. I will curb stomp Monokuma for you. I'll do it for you, Kaede. I'll reveal everything. The truth and the lies. Want to help. I want to help you grant Kaede's wish. Here we go, right? Are we going to do it? Yep. Now close. Explain the closing argument. The final piece of text worked to end this trial. Hope they out these stay the same because these were always really cool. Yep, sure is. They, these were. I, I always love these parts. They play out like a like a graphic novel. In the closing argument, you will wrap up the case. All right, so we got the page, stock limit, stock, stock panel, stock panel hint. You'll have to reproduce the order of the events in the case in the form of a comic book. This recreation is just Shuichi's deduction. So there are gaps here and there. Gaps are areas where the n number of pieces are missing. After selecting the panels, uh, move the cursor over the gaps, then fit the panel in an empty space with a triangle. Only the correct panel will fit. Compare the empty space hints with the stock panel hints to complete the comic. There will be some panels that you cannot select at first. Filling in some of the gaps correctly will unlock the other panels. Oh, it sounds like they might have made it a little easier than before. I think before it was like you... Didn't you have to do, like, all of them at once, or it just didn't, it didn't work? L1, R1 to switch pages and start filling as many as you can. Thank you and thank you. Closing argument! Start! Oh, no, not... No! Oh, come on, really? I loved that. I always love they always end with these... Because I love that song! There we go. This is the truth of the case. Here we go. Oh! All two days prior, when Monokuma gave us the additional motive, the time limit added to this killing game triggered the crime. After the announcement, some of us decided to form groups to plan our next move. I'm gonna go do my own thing. Actually, now I think about it, are we, are we not going to figure out then what Wintaro's, like, secret talent was? I guess in the end, it's just not even going to end up being important. <laughs> Ultimate, who gives a shit, right? I had my own plan to find the mastermind, and someone offered to help me. At the time, I never would have imagined they would become the culprit. Oh. To expose the mastermind... The culprit and I set up hidden cameras in the library. <laughs> the blackened with his little backpack. There was a hidden door in the library that showed signs of use. We deduced that the mastermind would return there to let Monokuma out. The <laughs> next day, we asked Mew if she could modify some cameras for our trap. We then went to the warehouse to gather the necessary materials. All we needed were disposable cameras and a security sensor. But the culprit found something else there. The murder weapon. That's right. The shot put ball. They put the cameras, as well as the shot, in their backpack. I think it was when she had that momentary freak out, though, you know? When she was like, what if this doesn't work out? And then she was like, it was just, they just denied through the mastermind. That's when she decided to take the putt ball with her. Then, on the day the time limit would expire, the day of the murder, the culprit and I collected the modified cameras from you and visited the library. Once there, we searched the room for ideal locations to place the cameras. But even then, the culprit was preparing the murder. They began by removing the vent grate and laid it inside the air duct. I, I pushed it in, remember? Get your story right! Oh, right. My bad. Then... They moved the pile of books on top of the bookcase, pretending to or Oops. Pretending to organize them. 
After that, they placed open encyclopedias on the final bookcase. It appeared innocuous enough, but it was actually a path for the murder weapon. The culprit also tampered with the hidden camera linked to the security sensor. I was responsible for setting up the other cameras, but that one... I didn't even notice their trick. They use duct tape to keep the flash function on. Mm. After the cameras were set, the culprit and I climbed the stairs to the first floor classroom. We kept a lookout for the others and waited for the security sensor to go off. During the stakeout, we saw Kaito and six others go down to the basement. Rantaro was with them, the first victim. After watching that group enter the game room, I returned to the classroom. With about one hour remaining, the security receiver I was holding went off. I assumed it was the mastermind, so I ran out of the classroom to the library. I was in such a hurry, I left the culprit behind. Looking back on it now, that was the last chance I had to stop the murder. After I had left, the culprit took the shot put ball out of their backpack and rolled it into the classroom vent. This set the murder in motion. Rantaro had moved the bookcase, triggering the receiver. Unbeknownst to him, the trap had been sprung. First, the modified camera took a picture of Rantaro with the flash on. Rantaro noticed the flash and approached the bookcase to inspect the camera. He's like, what the pants is this? The camera flash lured Rantaro directly into the murder weapon's path. That was the last thing he ever thought. What the pants? The shot the culprit tossed into the vent rolled through the air duct. came out of the library's vent and kept rolling atop the bookcase. Opening the vent grate and organizing the books was all to create a path. Under normal circumstances, the victim would have been alerted by the noise. But the promotional video was masking the sound of the shot rolling. The shot oh. kept rolling, then fell on Rantaro's head, killing him instantly. Dead. You killed Johnny Young Bosch. Entered the room. The murder was complete. I imagine seeing Rantaro's body. The culprit probably thought. The mastermind is dead. The game is over. Now we can all go home. But their wish didn't come true. Because Rantaro wasn't the mastermind. It was murder. In an attempt to save all our lives. That Oops. That's the truth. That's the truth behind your lies, Kaede Akamatsu. The ultimate pianist. Complete. Oh. Sucks. And that concludes the events of this case. No. Kayede did it? Damn it! It is a truth I do not wish to accept. But since Shuichi has brought everything to light, we can at least try to trust the Kaede we've come to know up to this point. The Kaede we've come to know? Even if she did commit a crime, 
What Kaede has said to us is not a lie. She wanted to protect us. And I firmly believe that to be the truth. Yeah. Aw. If that was a lie too, it'd be the last straw for me. I'd have nothing left to believe in. You guys are so nice. Even though I betrayed you all. No! That's not true, Kaede! You were trying to save all of us. Nice job, Shuichi. I didn't expect any less. What? You were super reliable back there. But you still have a long way to go. You need to be more assertive. Okay, so I, I, yeah, I guess that was her whole the whole reason. She wanted him to be more assertive. And if she just admitted it, it would rob him of uh, that chance to be more assertive, I guess. I, I, I'm guessing if at the end, like, it looked like all was doomed, she would have come out, right? She wouldn't let everyone really die. I guess it, this is truly the extreme, though, of, of, <laughs> of anyone. I mean, he cared for her, obviously, probably more than anyone. So it would have been the most difficult to do for against her. So showing that if... From this point forward, she can probably rely on him to do it later. Okay, so Mace dies ridiculous like that. I originally thought. If you did that more often, you'd be a pretty cool guy. I still love you, though. Oh. Kaede, why? Why are you smiling like that? Why are you still trying to get me to be brave? Why, Kaede? Why are you thinking about everyone except yourself? If you had just been less selfless, you wouldn't have had to murder. Why? Why do you do that? Oh. I'm sorry. Stop, stop, stop! At least save it for the end of the trial! Sheesh! <laughs> Looks like the debate's finished, so that means it's voting time! All right, you bastards! Press the button in front of you to cast your vote! And make sure y'all vote, because refusing to vote is grounds for termination. At last! The heart-racing excitement has the blackened, and the spotless finally face off! It's voting time! Oh, interesting. This is new. Before it would just it would just end. I didn't really actually pick anything. <laughs> so if I just chose not to, I would It seems the voting has finished. <laughs> I guess I would be fucking toast. Let's see the result. Oh, poor Kaide. Everyone voted for Tanko! Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Tinko in her weird face. Oh. Did only one person didn't vote for her? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice? Or the dreadfully wrong one? Didn't we just see? Oh, who could it possibly be? Closed. All right, how did I do? Hey, all right, cool. I aced everything? Oh, fuck yeah, I did. Yeah, I'm the best. Perfect. Absolutely right. Well, at this point, it goes without saying, but y'all voted correctly. Way to go. Yay. I know it was really, really fucking obvious, but hey, we turned the protagonist being immune on, on its head! Yeah! There, there's that! So, woo! Yeah! The black end who killed Rentaro Mori is the old pianist, Hikari Akamatsu! I'm glad. Good. What? What? Why? Good. Don't screw around! What do you mean, good? This is how you, you want, want it to end? That's not true. Not really, but... 
It could have turned out a lot worse. So this is fine too. I don't get it. Uh, it it's not fine. This is super horrible. The worst ever. <laughs> yeah. How did it come to this? Please. Kaede, what would possess you to do something like this? <sighs> Konta, no accepts this. Not unless you explain. Aw, oh, everybody's so sad. Yeah, I won't be satisfied till I hear straight from you. Hey. Kaede, please. <sighs> okay, please allow me a few more moments of your time then. Just like Shuichi said, I was after the mastermind this entire time. I wanted to kill the mastermind, and I thought doing that would end the killing game. But... but why would you try to kill them? Maybe they could have been captured. Uh, if it hadn't been for the time limit, I probably would have done that. But the time limit meant that the capture and the mastermind was less likely to work, you know? Because the mastermind could have just played dumb to run the clock and kill us all. Yeah. I was worried about that happening. Therefore. So you thought to kill the mastermind instead. That's right. I had made up my mind just before we set up the cameras in the library. I thought it was my last chance to save everyone. I couldn't let that chance pass me by. I had to save everyone, no matter what. Even if you had to kill someone? Ew. Scandalous. Yeah. That's right. I thought that killing the mastermind was our best shot at escaping this place together. I... I really believed it, too. Kaede. What? Oh, Kaede. It never dawned on you. As soon as that thought entered your head, Monokuma had you right where he wanted. Because what mattered most to Monokuma is that the killing game started. You really don't get it. Regardless of your reasons, the moment you felt the urge to kill, you had already lost. You agreed to be part of the killing game when you allowed murder to fill your heart. Wait. Wait. To put it like that. But he's, but he's not wrong. She's the reason the killing game finally started. Uh, no. But if Kaede hadn't done anything, we'd be all, all be dead by now. Right. Kaede, save everyone! We no can blame her! I know that! I know! You don't need to remind me! Th that's why I'm so pissed off! Pissed off at myself for being so... so useless! Um... Kukichi, that's enough. I can see through your act. Yeah. That whoops that obvious, huh? Yeah, you're right. I don't give a shit about any of you. I hope you all die a painful that's death. But Kukichi's right. I was being played. I didn't even kill the mastermind. I killed one of our dear friends instead. What I did was so terrible, so unforgivable. I took an innocent life. I'm nothing but a horrible murderer. She'll hate, blame, and be disgusted by me. Wait! Kaede, please calm down. Uh... After we found Rantara's body, and I realized he wasn't the mastermind, I thought about ending this by confessing to you what I had done. But I couldn't, because of Monokuma's first blood perk. Or... I see. If you confessed there and then, you would have been able to leave. But you decided you couldn't leave this place by yourself, so you kept quiet. Because of the first blood burke, you were forced to hide the truth from us. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I see. So the first blood perk worked against the black and rather than, rather than for them. But at the same time, I thought I did this for everyone. Instead of making things easier by confessing, I thought I should lie to you all so that it would motivate you to keep moving forward. Then... Is that the reason for the trial? To reveal the mastermind? Because... But like it didn't... If I didn't do this, then Ritara's death would have been meaningless. Well then... We were searching for both the culprit and the mastermind during this class trial. Yeah! Ah, Kaite didn't mention that. Yeah. But that's why I wanted to end all of these terrible things happening to us. I'll defeat the mastermind in this dumb killing game. I'll... I'll even use this class trial to do it. Yeah. I... I never wanted to keep my crime a secret. I was going to tell you all eventually. But before I did, I wanted to expose the mastermind first. Then the killing game would have ended, and everyone but me would, have, would be saved. I thought that was the best way I could atone for killing Rotaro. Sorry. This is my fault. I was wrong. There was no mastermind. What? You were wrong? But didn't you say the mastermind was one of us? Uh, okay. That's what I thought at first. In the end, we have nothing. No one made any movements to the time limit. The trial was useless. See. Even when Shuichi was about to be voted vote as the blackened, still they did not appear. Maybe. He that's si that seriously was a close one. If Kaede had just kept her mouth shut, we'd all be dead right now. No way. There, there has to be something else we can discuss. We just gotta think. 
All right, Shuichi? Right? But... On the other hand, she's only in this mess because she decided to say something at that moment. That's... I want to protect Kade, but I also want to amass the mastermind. But even when the killer was about to be condemned, they remained hidden. I'm sorry. This has to mean the mastermind is not among us after all. <laughs> so Kade had the wrong idea the whole time. I see. All her actions were taken under Suichi's flawed logic. Okay. That's why this is my fault. All of this happened because my detective work was wrong. If I hadn't been so stupid, if I'd never said anything about the mastermind to Kaede, Damn it. Rentaro wouldn't have died, and Kaede wouldn't be a murderer. This is all my fault. That's wrong. No, it's not. Huh? Kaede? Because I killed him, not you. Right? Right? Didn't I? Oh. But... But, Kaede, why did you set such a convoluted trap? If your intent was to kill the Mastermind, there was no reason for you to cover your tracks. Jeez. Isn't it obvious? It's because she didn't want Suichi to know. Huh? Me? Yeah, of course, but I didn't want everyone else to know either. Because I said I wanted to escape this place with everyone. Because... But you guys wouldn't want to be friends with a girl who killed someone. Would you? Be friends? God, he put a lot of thought into this. Mm. She put so much thought into this. It drove her to commit murder like a lunatic. God, she's a loser. God, she's such a dumbass. Yeah, I know, right? Such an idiot. However, we only survived the tablet because of that idiocy. Right. Yes, we still alive thanks to you. <laughs> God, I, I didn't know how. But I, I wanted to get out of here with you. I wanted to be friends. Sorry. And lovers. And baby making together. I'm so sorry. Damn. So I say, everything you did was because you were thinking of us. And you hit that. That you killed him just to say and help us. How did things. Hi, hello! Alright, alright, that's it! God, shut up, everybody! <laughs> Fuck! What? What? What, what? what do you mean? What, what do you mean? That, ah. That's it. Father, are you getting bored? That's right. You know, Pop Skits can't stand this kind of tear jerky schlock. <gasps> I can't stop crying. <laughs> oh, oh, I see nothing getting gets past my adorable little cubs. <laughs> I don't even let up times get past me. Especially someone else bought them. <laughs> now then. Well, we can't let this boring display grind the action to a halt, so. Time to make things interesting. Huh? Make things interesting? Thrills, chills, kills. The money you've all been waiting for! It's punishment time! Uh, punishment? You mean Connie's execution? Don't screw around! No, no freaking way! There's no way we'll let you do that! Hey! Oh boy. Access all so assemble! Ah, fuck me. These dumb fucking machines. Punishment time is a sacred segment. You're not allowed to interfere. And if you even try to interfere, We'll just crush you with these here exosols. It's cruel, but it's probably better if one person dies instead of everyone. Like hell am I just gonna sit here and do what you say? Kaede fought with her life on the line, and so will I! Gonta will face you all. Times like this are why Gonta became strong. Gentlemen never back down. And neither will Gonta. Gonta becomes Super Saiyan God! This is the perfect chance to test out my Neo Aikido skills on machines! Yeah, I'll help. I can... I can... Hat power! <laughs> <laughs> Whips his hat off, tosses it like a fucking frisbee, slices the head off one of the exiles. Oh, wow. I didn't realize how sharp this thing was. Stop it. Please, just stop. Kaede. But, Kaede. I... Enough, you guys. I've already prepared myself. You're giving up? Why? But why? You said you'd never give up. That we get out of here together. That's what you said, Kaede. Damn it. So why are you giving up now? Do you mean what you said? I know we can do something. Don't give up until the end. No. I'm not giving up, because I have you. Huh? What? You know? Even after I'm gone, my wish will still be here. So I'm counting on you all, trusting my wish to every one of you. I believe in you! I believe you all will make it through this somehow. You have to live! You 
You guys better live. Don't go dying on me now. End this ridiculous killing game. Survive. Get the hell out of this place. I promise. And then be friends after you escape, okay? I think you'll be all, all be the best of friends. Yeah. Affirmative, Kade. I shall take that request. I will do my utmost to fulfill your final request. <laughs> I, I won't give up! I'll get out of here, no matter what! You're going to work hard and keep friends safe till very end. Well, Kade, you definitely were boring, at least. I mean, there's that, I guess. Well, all right, everybody said their thing, and Kokichi was a dick, so I think we're all good. Now then, let's get started! Now then, I've prepared a very special punishment. I have a special punishment prepared for the ultimate pianist, Kane Akamatsu! I, I really, I, I kind of just keep this shit all in reserve for, for each one of you, just, just in case anyone fucks up. Except for Rattar, because I never figured out what he, what his was about, so basically I just pulled him to death with avocados. But anyway, anyway, that's a completely different timeline! Damn it! So go to this one! Wait, wait a second! Kane, please don't! Hey. Shuichi, you better not lose. You can't lose! Can't lose this killing game! I know you can beat it. Let's give it everything we got! It's punishment time! I believe in you! Believe in you guys! So please, believe in yourself! It's a promise. Okay? It's a promise. Oh. Oh god. Alright, I've been waiting for this! Time to kill you and it's 60 FPS! Get over here! Time for punishment! Die, fake protagonist! Oh! Oh, no, Kaede! Or she'll like, oh. I thought she may do something like Bugs Bunny where she'd play the piano and one key would like blow up the whole thing. Thank you, thank you! Everyone now, come! And join me! And the most beautiful orchestra of your fucking deadly lives! Der Floor Waltzer, Kane's execution. Oh. Oh. Oh no! Oh my god! Ugh! Oh Jesus Christ! Oh, oh man, that's so fucked up. Oh fuck! No, come on! Oh! Pfft. Oh! 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 Oh, come on, that was unnecessary. She was already, like, dead by that point. So they hung her and they... Ugh! I would have laughed at the Monotara part being tossed in there by Monica if it wasn't so fucked up. Ugh. That was definitely not Monotara's blood, either. Ooh. Oh, that was fucked up. Oh, poor Kaede. She was so awesome. The moment it was over, I felt my legs give out under me. Just saw... Didn't feel real. As if all reality vanished, the only thing left was a fictional world. Real or not, Kane was gone. Kane Akamatsu no longer existed in our world. Yeah. Huh? What the? Why is Mo <laughs> Why is our Mana Kid? I can't remember all these fucking guys' names. I'm Monotaro, that's. My <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Mana John, what have you done? Fuck that guy. <laughs> ah, Corella, she puked again. Oh, well. Well, this tension ain't so bad, you know. Final feels like a proper killing game. Right now. If anything, we can stand to use a little more tension in our lives, right, Dan? <laughs> no! My sweet darling Monikin! Clayton is collateral damage! No! I know I said I hated him the most, but it was a lie! I loved him more than any of you! I know! Oh, actually, wait, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. What am I talking about? Montara is my favorite! Oh, we actually, that's right! There aren't any spears of you guys, supposedly, right? So are we, like, gonna... Are we gonna, like, kill each one of the Monikins, too? Every... Or one of the Monocubs every trial. I bet. Oh, I bet we will. Whoa, this is a nightmare. This is unacceptable. My precious Cobus. Ah. Oh, second 
thought I guess okay. After all, I still got four more cubs. Oh, this despair gets me fucking horny, baby. Oh, I'm glad your kids came in bulk. Yeah. Huh? It's okay. I, I'm shocked. Our existence means that little, huh? Well. Well, let's just be honest. It was kind of hilarious. It would have been a lot funnier if, you know, Connie hadn't died and everybody loved her to death, but... And she didn't explode into little pepto bismol giblets for all of us. But hey, what's done is done. What's dead is dead. No point crying over crushed cups. <laughs> Those one add up like these sad sacks. Fuck these guys! But how? What? What in the world is this? Really? Are you fucking kidding me? Talk about overkill. Oh, man. Atua, please grant Kade soul return to repose. I can't believe this happened to Kade. I liked her so m m much. Kade! Yahoo! Hi, seriously, shop Kakichi. Oh, all this adrenaline creates an exquisite feeling of despair. There it is. Oh my God, I brought despair and fucking ages since like the previous games. I like an old let's play. Oh, I would hold that in for a while. Smells like this time I make all the killings worth it. This is... Why are you doing such a terrible thing? How dare you! You're the worst of the worst! Does human value have no life to you at all? Hey, um... Hey, I know human life is precious. I'm not a monster, you know. <laughs> I'm just a bear! With a lightning bolt on his face! Because if human life wasn't precious, I think it wouldn't be nearly as much fun! Extreme! There's no greater joy than witnessing such a display of the Entertainment! <laughs> you you surpass psychotic by a wide margin. No. I don't think I've ever felt quite this irritated. I, I won't forgive you for this. Got that? I won't ever forgive you! Oh. Spoken like a March man! Excuse me. What is your objective, objective, Monokuma? Oh, that was really fucked up though. Like, goddamn, that was. That might have been one of the more fucked up ones out of all the executions. We've had ones that have been like, you know, pretty comical and ridiculous, like Uwada butter and shit. But like, ooh, the fact that they hung, so they, they essentially hung her and then took her lifeless body and smashed it to bits. What are you trying to pull? Do you hate us? If so, what have we done? Have we done something to make you hate us? Huh? Hate you? <laughs> <laughs> Who can say? Hey. That's your job to figure out, but you're not gonna figure out the last chapter. There's only gonna be like, you know, four or five of you left. If you really wanna know what's going on, you're gonna have to work for it. Well, you gotta look, you gotta hunt for those body fucks. Now the corpse formerly known as Rintaro may have had a hunch. Oh, there we go. So maybe his hidden talent will come back to bite us in the ass in some way. Mm. Huh? Huh? What is it? What do you mean? What was Rintaro's hunch? <laughs> Oh, what indeed! He did say he would end this game, and he also knew about the hidden door. Could that be at all related to his, this hunch you, you claim he had? <laughs> oh, I wonder! Why, you? Hey, what the hell's the hunch you're going on about? Spill it! <laughs> oh, I wonder! If you have no intention of telling us, then keep your mouth shut. Cause... Oh, you're focusing on Connie instead of her deadweight victim. Well... Well, it's not his fault he was useless. That for his talent could be revealed. If he had lived long enough to reveal it, maybe he would have been more useful. Too bad. <laughs> He's the ultimate bullshit! He could have broken the game if he wanted to with that BS! I haven't seen a BS this powerful since fucking Kameda! And that's saying something! Yes, good! My disciple Rintaro will destroy this game! Nope! He's dead, bitch! Before he even realized it! No! Rintaro, why? You were the chosen one! You were supposed to stop the despair, not join it! No! Oh well, he's dead, and that's that. That's the difference of death for you. However, he wasn't really the mastermind, was You're he? Really oh, are you still pestering me about with these annoying questions? Aren't you guys focusing a little too much on whether or not there's a mastermind? I mean, I know we've been doing this every single game till now, but come on! I'm not totally out of original ideas. Keep this up, you're all gonna end up like Kaidi! What? what? Here. Maybe spend less time worrying about nonsense and more time watching your back, okay? Right. You never know who's gonna become the next killer! <laughs> Looking forward to it! And hopefully this next one will be a little less predictable than the last one! God damn, that shit was obvious! Ah, <sighs> I can't wait! I wonder what kind of killing game we'll get to see next! Hmm. D -d damn it! You may have gotten us this time, but we'll get you next time! You'll see! Why? Why are you all psyched up? That's nice! Oh, 
Well, it's nice to see at least one of you has some chutz ch 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 ball around. Chutz ball? Proud of saying that with the border. I have a feeling you're gonna live for a while. <laughs> Kokichi, you have that very Kameda-esque feel about you, and you just don't give a shit about anyone. You've got the asshole factor, and the asshole factor gets you a long way in Dongaropa. But then again, Nico said that about Brentaro, so who knows? Thanks. Oh, thanks, I'll do my best. <laughs> don't screw around. Shut the hell up. We're not gonna have another killing game. I, Kato Momoda, I'm not gonna let you have your way anymore. Got it? I'm gonna punch that grin right off your face. For sure. Is that so? Oh, really? That seems unlikely. Too bad. I'm pretty sure you won't live long enough to, to do that. Damn. Well. Anyway, you guys have a lot to think about. I know there's a lot to take in. <laughs> Watching your friends Pepto Bismol rain on you. Work hard and do your best to graduate, because the fun's only just begin. We just finished the first chapter. I don't know. Who knows how many chapters in this game? Could be 30. In which case, this let's play will go on for fucking infinity. Be like 300 episodes. At the rate Nico's going, God damn! All right, peace out, Home Dizzle. Hey, hey, Monty Tom, explain yourself. Mm. I get that Monica was obnoxious and rude, but that was way over the line. <laughs> Fuck that guy! I did it for us. Good. Ah. Hey, wait, Monodom. Where are you going? It's getting interesting. They probably killed him as payback for all the bullying. What an what, what an interesting turn of events. With that, Monokuma and the Cubs left, and only we remained in the courtroom. I I don't think I can take all this. I can't stand this anymore. I feel like I'm going to go crazy. Yeah. Samugi, you mustn't give up hope. Mm. Is there even hope to be had here? The room feels utterly drained of it. <laughs> Carde! What kind of degenerate male cries in public? So rude! Fuck you, Tanko! Um, but, Tanko, you're crying too. Hey. Now's not the time to point that out, Kibo. Just let it be. Rare time. In times like this, we should pray for Kaide's soul so she can rest in peace. How's anyone supposed to rest in peace after getting killed like that? I don't know. What are we gonna do from now on? Man, I need a shower after all that giblets. <sighs> yeah, I'd like to know too. I'm so over this already. That's enough! Ah, shut up! Shut up! Y'all just need to shut up! Kaito's voice boomed in the air and the room went silent. Damn. Every single one of you, your meek little complaints. Shut up! You're pissing me the hell off! Damn it. But the one who's pissing me off the most... Dumbass. Is you, Shuichi! Huh? What? Ah! Pow! Right in the kisser. Ooh. Clench your teeth! Kaito! You are supposed to say that before you hit him. Did you hear what Kaede said? She said she believed in you. That she passed her wish on to you. But what the hell's wrong with you? You didn't say a damn thing to Monokuma. You call yourself a man? Uh oh, how? Damn it! What's the matter? Say something already! Dumbass! I just hit you. Aren't you pissed off? What's your problem? <sighs> Enough, Kaito. Mm -hmm. Sucker punching is pretty low, even for a low-life degenerate male like you. Listen up! You better knock it off, or I'm gonna explode my Neo Aikido all over your face. Hey, are you even really the ultimate Aikido person? I haven't seen you do one bit of Aikido since we fucking got here. <laughs> Fine. Are you okay? Shuichi, are you okay? Uh, okay. I'm fine. For now. Please, stop. This sort of altercation is just a waste of time. Mm. Gonto, not sure to it's waste of time. But Gonto, agree. Fighting not good. Then... Can we leave now? Staying here will only make us more depressed. <laughs> well put. I agree wholeheartedly. Sorry. Sorry. You should all go ahead without me. Um... Why? Is there a reason you wish to stay in a place like this? Uh, um... I want to be alone for a while. Just for a little bit. But... We can't just leave you here by yourself. No. Sumuki, perhaps it would be best if we allowed him some privacy for now. <gasps> oh, okay. I suppose. Suichi, don't beat yourself up, okay? Yep, yeah. yeah, just the reset button on your feelings. You feel happy and cheerful in no time, like me. I get over everything in like two seconds flat. Listen... Being a tad insensitive is important for survival. 
It helps one avoid suicidal thoughts. Hey. Gonto will go back too. Let Gonto know if you need his help, okay? Oh. But one, everyone climbed aboard the elevator. Except. I mean. So, Ichi, I don't know how well you knew Kade. But why don't you try going to Ultimate Lab? Huh? What, what do you mean? That's right. Monokuma set, up the, set the room up, so it's probably not a lot there to remember her by. But there should at least be a bunch of a, a little things she liked. Uh, okay. Things Kade liked? Listen up. I understand. There's only one way to get through this awful feeling. No one's going to be able to console you if you're just sitting here alone. I mean... If anyone's going to help you, it'll be her... Her. In your memories. With those words, he stepped into the elevator. Before I realized it, I got to my feet. Just started walking, and I was headed toward the Ultimate Pianist Research Lab. It's not as if there would be any memories here. But these are the things she was really passionate about. That's good enough for now. What a magnificent piano. We would like to hear her play it, if only just once. Ah, uh, that reminds me. The song that Kaede was talking about. Of course. It must be here somewhere. I stood in front of the shelves of CDs and searched each one thoroughly, end to end. It should be here somewhere. Where is it? Ah. Here it is. This is it. I took the CD from the shelf and placed it in the player in the corner. Soon, a soft melody had filled the classroom. Oh. My body relaxed, totally enveloped in the music. It was a strange feeling, sound seeping into my body. Before long, I began to close my eyes. I wish there was a piano here. I would play you a song to help you cheer up. Hmm, a pretty song to play for you. Oh, like Claire de Lune by Debussy. It's a soothing song that calms your heart, like the moon's reflection on water. <laughs> you noticed, huh? Yeah, I'm shaking too. But I'd be a mess if you weren't here. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I would have been so lost. I'm glad you're here with me, Shuichi. With you by my side, I feel like I can stand up to anything. You give me the courage I need to take on the mastermind. Oh. So please, be more confident. She loves Shuichi. I believe in you, so you should definitely believe in yourself. Yeah, I'll try. I don't know if I can do it, but... No, I'll do it. I have to believe in myself. I won't be afraid anymore. I will face the truth for everyone. I won't give up for your sake, Kaede. I promise. From the bottom of my heart, I promise you, Kaede. Yep, that's our promise. Aww. I'm leaving everything up to you, Shuichi. Aww. Goodbye. Chapter 1, My Class, Art Class Trial. My Class Trial, Art Class Trial. To be continued. Oh, man, that was so sad. Uh, that was painful. Fuck. Obtaining a very cl special class trial. Musical note hairpin. Oh, man, that was... Fucking sucked. <laughs> I definitely called that. That was definitely that did that went exactly as I thought it would. But I'm not saying I'm happy about it. But yeah, I, I mean, overall, I, I really do wish they had done it differently. I wish they made it a little less obvious. I do think it was kind of a cool idea, but I I do realize the difficulty of that because it is difficult to sort of pull something like that off from the perspective of the character you're doing it as. But I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Was this a surprise to you? Was this something that you didn't see coming at all? Or did you just see it coming a mile away? I, I'd be curious to know in the comments. I, I feel like this is something that 
a lot of people probably saw coming. I, th this didn't seem like the, the same level of like, like oh, I, I can't believe I guessed that, you know? Like, so uh, let me know. But God, I'm just, I'm bummed now. <laughs> I'm bummed. I loved Kaede. She was so sweet. I loved Kaede and Shuichi together. Uh, guess I'll just have to resort to fan fictions <laughs> uh, for that baby making. Oh. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I know it was a bit of a da a bit of a bummer, but well, that's dog on rope for you, all right? Uh, if you did, please leave a like and a favorite. It really does help me out. And subscribe if you're not already. Become a Picky Penguin for the SLP, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.